1942, the Mediterranean island of Malta is under constant attack by the Luftwaffe. Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we've got one here. We've got a Spitfire. We have one, a tropical one, so it's got the specialized filter. It is a VB. It is not from the 601st Squadron. It is not, it is not even this particular aircraft. Um, apparently, I bought, bought this brand new, $50. The seller said that Dragon sometimes put a special, um, a special edition model in the same boxes of, of the of the, these aircraft. I don't know if that's true or not, or if he was feeding me a bit of bullshit. But the aircraft inside the box is not the one that is depicted on the outside of the box. Um, the one inside the box is actually an aircraft flown by Ionis Aplagus in Malta of 1942 for the RAF, or John as he was known. <laughs> um, he, he was born in Rhodesia to Greek immigrant parents, and he was not actually initially accepted by recruits um, until Greece's entry into the war, as he was not considered a citizen of Rhodesia, as he was the son of foreign nationals, and even though he was born there, so that was weird. But uh, he was involved in the defence of Malta and would become the highest scoring Rhodesian flying ace in the RAF with 16 confirmed aerial victories. And the majority of them were in Malta, of course. He would survive the war and remain in the RAF until 1948. He would marry in 1954, move back to Rhodesia and uh, he would have, I think, four children. But in 1974, he would die aged 55 from, um, unfortunately, a... Uh, Apparently taking his own life, having, uh, he never fully adjusted to his fee in life after the war, so that is an unfortunate end to a, uh, a World War II fighter A's. Well, what we'll do is we'll stop staring at this box because there's no point, because this is not the aircraft. Um, we will get this open and check out John's Spitfire in the metal. All right, with this uh, Spitfire out of the box, it does come with a set of instructions, so you know where to put all the bits, of course. It also does come with the standard dragon stand that uh, you can uh, use and we will get this lid off of course and check out that little Spitfire sitting in there. Yeah, it is definitely uh, John's aircraft because he does, uh, well we'll do get it out before I start talking about it. Look, pull straight out. Uh, we'll, we'll just look at the aircraft first. It does have the uh, landing carriage if you want uh, gear down and because it's set up in flight. And obviously there's some guns to put on and there's aerials and a canopy option as well as propeller, as you can plainly see. All right, let's have a look at this Spitfire. The colour scheme is very nice. I, I really like this um, Mediterranean sort of colour scheme. It does look really cool. The actual panel lines themselves look really nice. And th these Dragon models have been a really good... I wish they actually did still continue to manufacture World War II aircraft because they do a absolute killer job. You can see the uh, victory markings on the side there. And it says K just above those crosses. That's his sister's name. Um, every aircraft he did fly, he would put his sister's name on there. I think he had the one sister and the rest were all brothers. So, But I reckon this does look very good. It's got some nice engine detail there. You can see that air filter at the front there. It's got the machine gun uh, holes there that the cannons you need to put on, which we will do shortly. Overall, it does come up very nice. We'll turn it over and have a little look underneath. And as I said, it's, it's already for in flight. Um, it does look really nice. It's very blue. Uh, hopefully it does... You know, show up nicely on the camera, of course. This is extremely blue, but uh, that is very nice. Yeah. All right, what we'll do, of course, is we'll set up uh, John's Spitfire and come right back. All right, here we have a John's Spitfire all set up. Uh, for in-flight, of course, we just chucked that tail wheel in there. The um, in-flight landing gear was already on there. Uh, we just chucked the cannons in the front there. And, of course, a beautiful propeller there. And then an aerial on top. And this is all set up for in-flight, and it does it does look pretty cool. Uh, as I said, I do like this colour scheme on this Spitfire. It does look really nice, and it comes up beautifully. These Dragon models uh, are really nice. And, of course, you know, you do get this stand, and if you want to chuck it on the stand, you chuck the stand in its stand hole. And then we will plonk it on the deck here. And that is... Is the Spitfire Mark V B Tropical done for in flight? And I do reckon this is pretty cool. Um, but 
it's not the way I like to see it. So what we want to do is see with this with some gear down. So what we'll do is we'll chuck that in gear down and come right back. Boy, that was hard. <laughs> not really. So you actually do have to take this little piece out here. And so you can uh, take out the gear up section and then you can put your uh, gear down section on and then you just replace that piece back on again and she's done. And uh, that does look nice and neat. It is definitely another nice example from uh, Dragon, of course. I reckon she does look pretty cool. Does have some great detail. But yeah, all right, we'll wind this video up. We'll put this on the deck on its landing gear and it does sit there nicely we'll zoom in a fraction for you of course and wind this video up so once again this is by a dragon wings in 172nd scale die cast of course it is a spitfire mark a vb tropical type it does have that tropical filter on the front that you saw and i grabbed this for 50 bucks of course and it is one flown by ionis plagus or john plagus I hope I'm saying it uh, properly. I do apologize if I am not. And he was the uh, highest scoring uh, Rhodesian fighter ace of World War II. And I reckon it does set up very nicely indeed. All right, I will uh, chuck some photos up of this as per usual. And you can check them out at the conclusion of the video. If you like this Spitfire like I do, throw us one of these or one of those or whatever you can throw. <laughs> All right. And of course, if you get to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do that as well. Everybody is welcome. Of course, I'd like to thank you all for uh, taking the time to check out the video. I hope you watched it to the end and enjoyed the content today. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.